going on, everyone? This is Labor Day weekend on Sunday at 6.15 a.m. Myself and my friend Amy are going to a abandoned dog track here in northern Arizona. And uh, we're going to do some filming there. I will get some footage of the scenery so you can see it. I'm not fully awake yet. I have four hours of sleep. So we have just gotten off the exit from the I-17 to get to the place where we're going. How excited are you, Amy? I am super stoked. I think this is going to be really fun. I haven't gone urban exploring before and it's a pretty sweet place to start. Awesome. I'm, I'm super looking forward to it too. I think this is my first urban exploration too. You have the mountains right here. The sun's just coming up. We went really early. It's really freaking hot in Arizona. And we wanted to go like as close to sunrise as possible where we wouldn't, at least where we wouldn't have to use flashlights. Okay, so Google Maps has us officially here, but we gotta continue on a little ways until we get to the dirt road. Okay. So we'll, we'll come back. Dirt road. Oh, look, there it oh, is. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it is right there. Yeah. Super easy to find. Just right off the highway. Yeah. You need, a, you need a little lawnmower? Right? Tiny little lawnmower there? Yep. I'll just like crouch down and shuffle along. <laughs> so this is the dog track that we're coming into right now. And I think we want to go this way. Although I could be So, this is probably the most embarrassing first urban exploration because it's gone. The building's gone. They tore it down. Google Maps had it up earlier this year, so it's been recent that they destroyed it. This would have been, right here, the path leading up to the building uh, from the parking lot, because this would have been the parking lot right here. And this would have been one of the entrances to, it as, to the area. As you can see, there's some graffiti. Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love. Next to the occult symbol. We've I feel like we're at Centralia right now. We're in what? Centralia? Where, what is Centralia? Oh my goodness. Centralia is a town in Pennsylvania that is literally on fire. Oh, okay. It was the base of, of the Silent Hill movies. Oh. Where back in the day there was a coal mine there. And the coal mine lit on fire. Oh, And it shoot. is still burning. Wow. It's been like 40 years. That's wild. And there's a road there that you can't take anymore, but it has 
a lot of like graffiti and stuff all through it. Uh-huh. I was there with my with my ex-wife and my dad. We were driving around the town and the ghost it's a ghost town. So there's not a, like there's buildings and stuff there. It's really cool. It would be a really cool place for urban exploration as well. Uh, you can get there. It's all public land. Uh, there's like no one lives there or anything. But uh, we were trying to find the road. We couldn't find the road. Finally, we we ran into these this cu- this young couple that were just walking through the town. No car, not like we couldn't find like we didn't see any cars or anything. They were just walking through the town. Asked them where the road was. And like, oh, we're going there ourselves. And he was telling her the history of the town, and they were just talking. Like, it looked like they were on a date. They they were walking in front of us uh, when we got there. They were they weren't too far ahead of us. My dad was was farther behind because he walked really slowly. My ex and I were going, and they they went around a corner about thirty seconds ahead of us. And when we got around the corner, they were gone. Wild. Just gone. We didn't see them again, and we just thought it was the spookiest thing. Now, granted, there were like paths leading up into the woods on either side. But it seems really random to take your date into the woods off of the road of Centralia. So, it's, that's like horror movie-esque right there. Yeah. But that's my ghost encounter story from Centralia. Fun. You can see more foundation over there where there was the, some of the other buildings. There were buildings all over. Yeah, you can see like more foundations over there, like she was saying. Like all the buildings are gone, and then the track itself, because this was this used to be a dog track, like for for like greyhound racing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's the track. Yeah, the track's right here. Like we could walk around the track if we wanted to, because you can and see. The seats. Yeah, and, oh yeah, and this is where the seating would be. So you, you can see it steps down. This is rad. Like it's still kind of cool, and you you got yeah. the look. They still got some of the rubber in it. Yeah, that's. That's crazy. A lot of the stuff from it is still here. Some rebar poking out. Just the building itself is gone. Everything's delightfully overgrown. Delightfully. It looks like people still use the track. Maybe. Because, like, look, like, yeah, no, there's tire tracks on it. Oh, wow. Maybe so, people come here and do four-wheeling or something. Four-wheeling or dirt biking or people still use the track. I mean, it's a good track. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they have, like, like, the teens come out and they, you know, have races and they all sit on things right there and have yeah. drinks and... That checks out. You got the mountains up there. Definitely a very sweet area. Do you want to check out some of the other foundations right there? What kind of stone do you think these are, right here? Um, just like the basic stuff. I can't remember what it's called, it but sandstone? they have like... I guess it could be sandstone. Something with a pretty decent amount of quartz. Yeah, because it's, it's sparkly. I don't, yeah. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it's super sparkly. Like. I know the name of the rock. I don't think it's sandstone, but I can't remember. It's a lot of it right here. Look, there's a, another foundation right here. Oh, dang, yeah. This one's been gone for way longer, though. Yeah. Wow, that's a big hole in the middle. Like, what was there? 
I think it might have been like a water tank. Like you got the, the path right here that goes up to the road to go from these other areas. Wow, it's super overgrown. Yeah. Uh, you got some, some rebar and I think over here would have been like the dog kennels or like the the, the food. I feel like this is probably more dog kennels. It doesn't look too big enough to be like food stands. Yeah. There's a big line of them though, which maybe does indicate food stands for like popcorn or something. Yeah. Nothing with like real food. Yeah. Man, the way they step down is fun. Yeah. So, this was a little bit of a bust, but and we still got to see the outline of it and, and how it looked and everything, but there's no buildings to go look into. There's no remnants of a once glorious dog track to look at. You had said that you were hoping to find like old administrative papers or something like that. Yeah, so in like online blogs, they uh, were able to go in and find old documents, things like. Um, papers on like the running of the dog track and even they even found like a sheet of addresses that was like 20 years old that they speculated definitely should have been shredded and things like that probably good probably would have been a good idea yes but uh unfortunately we're not we're not so lucky but uh we still had fun looking looking at what it used to be like the the track is still being used which is interesting and this is you know still public land i think and all that but it was a good time so we're gonna see if there's anything else that we can find while we're out here maybe add a little extra on the way home so we stopped to get gas right uh -huh. and uh, what what did we discover well the car is leaking something but it's not oil and it's not gas so and it's not blue so it's not like like radiator fluid or anything like that. We think it's water. But neither of us knows enough about engines to say exactly what it is. All we know is where it's coming out of and that is nothing flammable or super important that we know of. So we're just gonna keep it on everything and we'll make sure that we don't get stranded out here in the middle of nowhere. Because, I mean, we did hit that one rock pretty hard up up there. With the sunlight, you're you look like you're glowing. <laughs> like literally, That's you're. That's awesome. It's a good time. Still having an adventure. I changed the battery in the in the camera, so we got full battery again. A slow poke in front of us. That's it's turning okay. by. Slow. Again, the trip up to the dog track was a, was a little bit of a bust. I was originally going to leave a geocache there for my channel, which is something I want to start doing whenever I travel to different locations for exploration and such, leaving geocaches there for pirate adventures and the millennial pirate, but there was no place to leave it. It was all gone. So I will have to do another one because I wanted that to be my first location for people to go to but this didn't work out.